Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the Rigify body and facial animation workflow between Blender and iClone. The Blender Auto Setup plugin allows you to set up Rigify with a single click to edit your imported motions in Blender, which you can then export and apply to your character in either iClone or Character Creator. This pipeline works flawlessly with all Reillusion characters, particularly those from Accurig and ActorCore. Let's start off with simple animation import into Blender. Here we have an animated iClone project already set up. When choosing Blender Export from the Plugins menu, you'll be presented with three export options. Character only is for scenarios without any animation, while Animated Character is used when you want to export an animated character. There is also a Unity Pipeline option which we explore in a dedicated tutorial. Note here that since we're focusing on animation, I'm baking the materials and also choosing Current Animation to include our animation and Delete Hidden Faces for mesh optimization. If you plan on returning the model to CC for further mesh modification in the future, however, do not check Delete Hidden Faces in order to keep the poly count consistent. In Blender, first make sure that you've enabled the Auto Setup plugin, which you can find under Preferences Add-ons. In the viewport, use the N key to open up the right side panel, where you'll find all of the tools included in the plugin. In this tutorial, we'll be dealing with the Rigify and Animation section, so be sure to also enable Rigify as well. After using the Import Character button to bring in your character FBX, you can use Lighting Presets from the Scene Tools to check material and render results. If we select the armature and go into Pose Mode, we can see the animation in the timeline. Since Blender's default animation preview is set to play every frame, be sure to change this to frame dropping in the timeline for the correct playback speed. Back in object mode, you'll be able to find the facial blend shape data, which is based off of your facial profile in Character Creator. You can see the various keyframes for the facial expressions of your animation in the dope sheet. Let's take a look at setting up the control rig next. Under Rigify Setup, I'll start off with Quick Mode and Auto Retarget enabled, and click Rigify, which will generate our control rig. You'll then see the character's animation has been successfully retargeted in the Action Editor. If your model doesn't initially come with facial animation capabilities, but you want to create facial animations in Blender, be sure to enable the Face Rig option before hitting Rigify to simultaneously generate a face rig. You'll then have a facial control rig that consists of two layers, primary and secondary, which you can activate under Rig Layers in the Items tab. These two layers can be combined to generate facial expressions, and you can also use the facial morph sliders, which are saved as shape key sliders in Blender allowing you to make more detailed refinements. The torso layer will control the head and upper body position, while the face layer handles the eye and jaw movement. We can create a basic pose and expression using those controls, and also manually enter values for various shape keys to enhance it. As mentioned, the secondary controls are better for more subtle adjustments. Once you're finished, you can save your expression as a new motion in the Action Editor. Be aware that if you want to bring your adjusted facial expressions back into CC or iClone, you can only use shape keys. Adjustments made using the face rig cannot be imported at this time. There's also an advanced mode for generating your control rig, which allows us to check if the generated control rig's meta rig is aligned with the original skeleton, in order to make any necessary adjustments. You can see the difference between the MetaRig skeleton and the original here. I can tweak the joint position to conform better with the character's proportions, and then hit Generate Rigify for an updated control rig based on the adjusted positions. If I switch to Pose Mode, you can see now that we have more accurate results in regards to the elbow joint position. Without this tweak, the animated results would definitely look off, as you can see in this before and after comparison. 
This process ensures that you get the best retargeted results, as you can further see in a comparison of the original versus retargeted animation. Here you can see that the control rig for the limbs is set to IK by default, which differs from the original animation. You can conform more closely to the original animation by adjusting the IK settings to FK settings in the control rig panel. And if you need to use IK to refine movements later, simply set keyframes for this setting and switch between IK and FK for the limbs as needed. The control rig is great for generating poses as well, as you can see me doing here. You can temporarily hide bones that you don't need via the control rig panel, and after your pose is completed, set keyframes to save the created pose in the timeline. Okay, next let's look at importing additional motions to our character in Blender. ActorCore is an extensive source of thousands of free and paid motions that are optimized for use with all Reillusion workflow pipelines including into Blender via Auto Setup. You can get them individually or as part of pack collections. For example, you can see previews of the motions included in this particular pack. In Blender, we can import them via the dedicated Import Animations button, and they'll initially appear as skeletons in your scene which won't be seen during rendering. Select the control rig, and in the retarget panel on the right, be sure to specify the source armature and action you want to retarget. You can then preview the retargeting results, and if you need, you can adjust the limb offsets via the limb correction panel. Once you're satisfied with the retargeting results, you can bake FK and IK as well as shape keys via the Bake Retarget button. Again, we can adjust the IKFK values to ensure that the retargeted animation conforms more closely to the original. Once you have multiple animations retargeted to your control rig, you can switch between them in the Action Editor and Shape Key Editor. Finally, you can also use the Control Rig panel to edit retargeted animation sequences. Make sure you're in Pose mode, after which you can use the various IK and FK tweaks to adjust the position like I'm doing here for the arms to put them on the hips. Once the adjustments are complete, you can use the Blender Auto Setup Export function to send the animations back to iClone. To do this, ensure that you have only Motion selected, and export your first FBX with the animation. After that, you'll want to export another with your model in a standard T-pose. In iClone, you'll want to use the special Import External Motion option from the File menu here. There will be a field for the 3DX profile that is exported via the Auto Setup in Blender, and also one for the relevant T-pose as well. Be sure to deselect Select Root Bone before continuing. After that, you can see the completed animation import, which can now be applied easily to any Reillusion character model. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.